Hey everyone, Audra here from Jersey History Hunter. Make sure you check out our friend Mike Lyman's channel. It's M.A. Lyman 24, or as I call him, Mally Man 24. Oh yeah, I've been up hunting with him a few times over the years. Oh, he's a great metal detector. It's lots of fun to hang out with. But he also does coin roll hunting, live streaming, and other kinds of treasure hunting. Right there, Shelly? Well, anyways, <clears throat> make sure you get to his channel. Check him out. So much fun to hang around. So much fun to watch his videos. Hang out on his live streams. Win all kinds of prizes. And uh, just a great guy. So thanks and listening. And uh, make sure you check out M.A. Lyman 24. Also, real quick, I'm going to tumble this beautiful iron uh, door handle uh, discussion here. So I'm going to get some of that rust off of it and stuff and see the print a little better. And then I'm going to put the Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer on it. Alright, let me tumble this real quick for 20 minutes and I'll get back to you. Done. Turn it off. Check it out. If you hear, good. Not Thursday video playing in the background there with the Fisher. All right, stand by. All right, let's take a look. We'll be fine now. See, you can see the detail on it, but there's still some rust in between the uh, design here. So what I want to do is uh, do a little electrolysis on this maybe first, and then put the rust oleum rust reformer on it. So I'm going to hold off on that for now, and uh, we'll get busy and uh, we'll do up those pocket knives. Hang on. All right, well, here we go. Like I said, the uh, Tumbling didn't work on cleaning this up as well as I wanted to before I put the uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer on it. Like I did those uh, pocket knives right there. We'll take a look at those in a minute from last week. But uh, I want to do some electrolysis on this. So I'm going to put it right down in here. In this little uh, container here. It's going to sit nice and flat because it's so thin, you know. So I just got to put a little water in there. And then I'm going to put some... Uh, of this stuff here. No North Jersey, it's just brine. That gives the water some conductivity there to help it uh, do the electrolysis part. So uh, we'll take a look at that. Using the ugly box, if you guys don't have one of these, 
Uh, they're pretty nice to use. Uh, I like them. Uh, I use it for a lot of the electrolysis stuff I do nowadays. I was just using a power supply, but this here is more controllable. <clears throat> if you don't want to burn a coin or a button or something, you can turn it down real low and take your time and do the electrolysis process. All right, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's get this stuff in here. We'll have some water. Let's we'll plug it in and turn it on there. See what happens. All right. Get some brine going in. Make sure you get a hold, hold of a... Oh, no, I can't think of it offhand where I got the ugly box from. I know it's Frank. Uh, I think it's Frank. Oh, well, he'll come to me. You guys probably already know. All right, we got that in there. Let's have some water. it up there we go Got some water there should be enough all right let's take the battery source here it's a nine volt battery gonna plug it in i'm gonna turn this it's already on oh i'm gonna turn this on turn it up to about maybe i don't know it's got about See if anything's happening yet. Oh yeah, it's starting to bubble already. Let's go up to about four. I do about four, four volts. All right. I don't know if you can see any of the bubble action yet. Let's see if I can zoom in with you there. Catalyst is already bubbling. Alright, we'll give this some time. We'll take a look at it in a little bit. The water's probably going to be all brown. You won't be able to see it. Alright, let's take a look at these knives. You ready? Hold on. Alright, we got that in the water works there. We got uh, about 5 volts. Oh, I turned it up to 6 volts going through it or so. And, uh, you can see what it looks like in about an hour. Meanwhile, let's take a look at these pocket knives that we worked on uh, last week. They're pretty well dry. <clears throat> this is the one that had a little bit of wood on it there that it was moving. Oh, you can't move it. Uh, there's the wood on the other side. The older one, I believe it was closed when they lost it. Come out nice. I just got to find a piece of wood to mount these on now. Love the handle on this one, the way it came out. Beautiful. This one I think was open. This blade here was opened when they uh, lost it or put it down and forgot about it or whatever. And this one here I believe was closed. This one had the loop thing on it to hook onto your belt loop or something. It's got a, I don't know what kind of side it had on it. But it could be like an electrician's knife or something. It's like the bigger blade. That came out pretty nice. I mean, these were kind of shot and beat, but at least now the rust ain't falling out of them, and they're not falling apart. This one, I believe, was another open blade when they lost it. Oh, I know I had a piece of the thing on there. It's got the thing on this side. Not too bad. And this one, I don't think it had either side. It had like a funny blade here, though. I don't know what kind of blade it was. But I think this one was open, too. This is the blade here sticking out. And they set it down. Forgot where they put it. Left it behind. Well, those are all set now. Just got to find a piece of wood to mount them on. Maybe a piece of driftwood. Haven't decided yet. But when I do, you'll be the first to know. All right, I'll get back to you in about an hour or so. After that electrolysis has been going a while. We'll take a look at it. All right, stand by. Hello there again, folks. Just talk to Jazzy Jeff. He's going to give me a piece of wood to mount these pocket knives on. I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Sweet. They come up pretty nice. But got the water all brown over here from this beauty here. I was able to uh, do some electrolysis on it. I'm doing it slow because I don't want to bake the metal. But it's got a lot more fancy to it than I thought. 
but I did half of it so far and look at that the rust just comes right off right down to the wrought iron but I've been using this uh, little dentist tool here too to help uh, help along just because when it gets loose you just like right, that comes right off and wipe it off then I can get you know get in here in between the lines and scrape so I'm gonna do some more electrolysis on this and uh, we'll keep going at it can't wait to get this done and uh, save and put that rust-oleum rust reformer on it it's gonna look great can't wait maybe I'll just spray paint it black with rust-oleum I don't know yet let me know what you think in the comments all right, let's get this brown nasty water changed out and see all the rust that fell off the uh, back of the doorknob plate here. So let's get that water changed out and continue on the electrolysis on this. And I'll be back. All righty, got it up to about the three-quarter line water. Got it going about five and a half volts there. All right, we'll come back in a couple hours and see what it looks like. Hopefully all that rust will come off like the first side and... Uh, it's going to look really nice. All right, we'll go back to you. See you then. See you in a bit. Ben and Sarah, hello. Jim MD Melbourne. All right, I don't know if you guys can see all the dirtiness happening already. Let's zoom in there, see if you can see the bubbles on it. Just trust me, there's little bubbles all over that thing. Oh, you see some of them rising up there. Alright, we'll let that go. Tune in next week to see how it comes out. We will see you then. Alright, enjoy your week and good luck if you go out hunting. Later.